Hello guys, today we are going to, we are going to, die. hello guys, today we are going to play some Minecraft, and this is a fun little tutorial on how to show you. So first, you want to go ahead and do the following steps. You want to click single player. Go ahead and put in a world game. Make sure you do the following steps I just now announced. And then, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go here. Hold down Alt. And then... Yay! This is the best one. And now, let's play the game. Now, once you've done that, you want to look around for the special chest here. It should have one, two, three, four regular torches around it. And now, you simply just want to break it. But beware. Make sure. Make sure that this isn't in there. You don't even want to... If it's in there, you don't even want to pick it up. Stay really far away from it. Don't mind the blocks here, this is just part of a uh, physics mod, which you, I will show you how to do that someday. Now the second thing you want to do basically is just get some food. Like, yeah. Ignore that, I want to go down here. Next thing you want to do is just go over here and get some dripstone, and then you want to go ahead and go over to get some more basically. So, you want to make sure you get enough to get some stacks, because you're going to need some stacks of it. So, you're going to also have to do this. You need to go over here to this iron basically, and you need to pull out your axe. Now, you simply must break it, but remember, remember... Do not, do not have that card in your inventory from earlier. If it's in your inventory, it will not drop. If it doesn't drop anyways, then it's hiding in your inventory and you're going to have to find it on your own. Alright, so now you just want to go ahead and... And then after you do that, you simply just have to go and place these crafting tables over here. You have to place two exactly for it to work. Now you just want to. Now you just want to go ahead and go to your crafting table, put one, two, three, four like this. Now put that there and put that there. You simply just want to repeat this process until you have at least five stacks. No more than just five stacks. You could have a little more, fine. Just a little more. No more than a little. Otherwise, I will come. I will come for you. So, you basically have to go ahead and place it just like... Oh, hold on. Okay. Now, you just want to keep doing this for, I'd say, 20 days. And then, after you do that, you simply just have to... Well, actually, the next thing you're going to need to do it. Now, basically, if you run out of dripstone and you can't craft enough dripstone stacks, then you, this is pretty simple. You need to swim to the nearest lake, and then you're going to have to walk to the bottom of it and bring out your stone axe and you need to start digging. Just keep digging down until you find the cave. Okay, so say you get lost. Well, if you get lost, you need to take out your dripstone blocks and build three blocks up. Well, actually, 
you know what, and let's just make it five. And now, after you do that, you simply just have to, well actually what this is going to be used for, you have to place a torch on it, probably look at it in a dark, you know what, let's just go ahead and place a raw salmon here. Now as you can see, there's no villagers here, so we're going to have to place down a raw card here, then we're going to have to place down a torch. And now, that should lead us right to a village, which are usually underground. So let's see if it is. Yep, there's a village right there. Now all you gotta do now is aim for that water there. Just fall into that water and make sure you do not die whatsoever. Uh. And now as you can see, we've landed in a... I don't know why that's here. And as you can see, we landed in a village. And now as... Do you see these guys? They even give you potatoes sometimes. And uh... Okay, if you see a pig, you, if you see a pig, you need to run from these things. These things are not normal. If you see a pig, you have to actually run. Oh my god. Okay, my, my heart is beating right now. Uh, if you go in these houses, as you can see, they're very useful stuff here, basically. And actually... Uh, basically... Uh, okay, so basically, in this village, it's best to just go over to these people here. And they have really good trades, like... If you go over to these villagers here and you're not supposed to be here. And then you go over to these villagers and Okay, so basically the next step you have to do is basically take out your gun and you go ahead and kill all these small villagers real quick. You! 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 You get over here! Go to that Go to that composter that I would be better saying work here. Good. And stay there. Okay, guys. Now, after you basically take over the entire village and enslave everyone, next thing you're going to have to do is take out some obsidian. You're going to place four blocks like this. You're going to place four blocks up. And then you're going to want to have to jump down here and place one, two, three, four blocks up, two blocks here. And now you want to basically take your flint and steel from your inventory. Which, if you're wondering how you get flint and steel, basically, I'm gonna have to go over to one of these blocks, you're gonna have to break it. And then after you do that, you're gonna have to basically take that, and you're gonna have to merge it with, like, a flint, I guess. And basically, after you do that, here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna take the flint and steel, and then you wanna go over to here, you're gonna wanna light these blocks on fire. Now, after you light these on fire, throw it in there. Basically, and now you just want to go over to this house over here. Now, basically, when you go over to this house, you want to make sure that there's no villagers inside whatsoever. Basically, and after you make sure no one's in there, then you basically just want to go over to this door. But make sure you place this here. You're going to need to place this here. So, basically, you're going to want to go ahead and place these here. And then you want to go ahead and go inside the house. And now, here we are. You're now inside of my basement, and basically you just basically you just want to go ahead and get your gun out for protection, and okay, so basically get your gun out. You're gonna want to. Do you see this fire down here? In order to locate fortress, you have to jump into this fire here. My apologies, everyone. That was how you locate the end fortress. But you see these chests here? You want to go ahead and open this chest, and usually they have junk and <gasps> a leather cap. No way. Okay, guys, this is the rarest cap in the game. It basically does not let you die. You cannot die with it. And you also need it to beat the game. So, you want to go ahead and break... Oh, wait. Okay, guys, uh... Hold on. Okay, so you basically want to go ahead and just get rid of that. It... You basically want to go get rid of your stone axe. And wait, that was my wooden one. Okay, you want to go ahead and get rid of your stone axe because it's the most. Do you want? Do you want to go ahead and get rid of that axe? I'm I'm still mad that I've got rid of that wooden axe. You needed it all. You also needed that to beat the game. So you want to go ahead and get your dripstone and build over to this room. You want to go ahead and get this gun. This is the only thing in the room that's worth getting. So you better get that because it's the second most powerful thing in the game. We don't really have any guns in our inventory, so we're gonna have to use that. But this will help us. And that ignore that up there. That's just part of the game. It's a decoration. And basically, you just want to go ahead and go down this long hallway. Oh. Okay, guys, hold on. You see these guys here? Let's just go to get rid of this. We don't need it. 
You, you see this guy here? You want to go ahead and kill these guys because they actually will attack you if you're not wearing any gold. These are what's called piglin. But don't worry though, like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, actually, never mind. Uh, don't worry though, because if you have the cap like I do, you should find. Oh, wait, they're fine, lava and fire. Okay, just go ahead and shoot them. Okay, basically, after you do that, you'll be able to get the golden sword. This is what you're going to need to escape the place, so don't forget to grab that. After that, you need to go down this long hallway, basically. Now you just want to find some lava, but there isn't anything here, so we're going to actually have to leave. But basically, after you get your blaze wads, you're going to have to find a way out of here. So as you can see, we can't really get through here, so we're going to have to use our sword to break it. Don't worry though, because a sword should be able to break through this very easily. All you got to do is just break this one block, basically. Uh, okay, uh, turns out we're trapped here forever, and there's literally no way to escape, and now I am also not able to play Minecraft anymore, basically, on all worlds. So, uh, basically, if you get trapped in here, wait a minute. Oh, never mind, we got a saddle. Okay, you're going to need a saddle because you're able to ride the skeleton, and oh, the skeleton left. Okay, uh, basically, you just want to go at it. I needed that. Okay, so basically, if that doesn't work, then here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go find an anvil. When you find an anvil, basically, you'll be able to escape. In a shocking turn of events, I have one in my inventory. But basically, you want to go ahead and place it above. <laughs> basically, after you do that, then as you can see, I'm now squished. You can basically use this to be able to go through this one block of gap here. We won't be able to get the anvil, but you want to jump through here. You want to go to jump down. Don't worry, you won't take any fall damage. You have the power of the helmet. And basically, you want to go ahead and walk over to here, to the lava. He has bad aim, probably because he has no eyes. But basically, we have no way to dispose this of whatsoever besides lava. Oh, hey, speaking of it, there it is. But how are we going to get way up there? I, I don't see any way. Oh, ignore that. It, I don't see any way up there. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah. We have tons of... We have tons of this. So, go ahead and... Oh, let me jump. Uh, all right, go ahead and start tunneling. Just tunnel in air, basically, over to the lava. And you want to go ahead and build upwards. Be careful, because you might fall in the lava. This is why you need to bridge over. Now, after you do that, you want to jump. And now you're able to successfully dispose of the useless saddle. And now, basically, all you want to do to get back is just jump into the lava. We'll have to jump over to the lava, but it's over there, so let's do that real quick. This will allow us to get back to the overworld. And as you can see, we are now back in the we are now back in the overworld, basically. And now all we gotta do is oh, hold on. Okay, now all we gotta do is just go down here and basically. There's no there's no dangers in these caves. You just have to watch out. You should be pretty fine in these caves, basically, and there should be no. There should be nothing in this cave, basically, that's that threatening. So basically, you just want to go ahead and continue, and whenever you get over to here, you just want to keep on going, basically, because don't worry, there's literally nothing that can hurt you here. It's all it is, is just some grass. And now, basically, once you go over to here, watch out for the tricks, by the way. They're trying to give you free advertisements. So basically... Uh-oh. Uh... Come on. Ah! Come on. Finally. Okay. So, that was hard. It's pretty hard whenever you can't really fight them with anything.
Okay, so see his axolotl. You basically go to pull out your gun and you want to hold down right click on the zombie over there. So we go over here. And you know what? Wait. I don't know which one's left or right, guys. Hold on. But I'm pretty sure this is right click. You want to go ahead and set this part on fire here. You want to go ahead and run away and... Oh no, wait. My leather's cap is my leather cap is gone. I'm not going to be that much invincible for any much longer. Okay, guys, it turns out I have to hurry up because I am losing my immortality. Okay, so now we just want to go over to. Okay, we just want to go over here. I'm hearing a lot of sounds. Oh, oh god. Okay, good, okay, good, we're safe. No, we're not safe. Eh, eh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. That doesn't really feel safe. That doesn't really feel nice to be toxic. Now we're basically just gonna have to eat some food, basically, to heal up. So just go ahead and chill in your block, basically, that you have to hide from the stuff, basically. And, uh,. Oh wow, look, it's an Enderman. These are very, very, very rare. We actually need this to beat the game. Okay, so you want to go ahead and get the Enderman to follow you. And you want to use it, you want to use a gun on it. Alright guys, uh, I'm here at this portal basically. And, oh god, there, there's these metal rats attacking me. Oh no, there's a lot of them. Okay, you have to use your inner pearls basically to attack them, but I got these inner pearls from that one inner man we killed a bit ago. Basically. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! That uh, Okay, uh, guys, if you see this, basically, this is a rare occurrence in the game, and basically. Oh god, okay, you just want to use your inner pearl, and make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to share this video to anyone. Make sure to share it to your grandma. Your grandma, 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 your grandma. And basically after you do that, your grandma, you're gonna go ahead and just wanna break these blocks until you're safe. Safe away from these guys. As you can see, I'm taking too much damage here, so I have to get away from them before it's over. And just like that, we are now far away enough. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for them to die now. Uh, wait. Okay, guys, so here's the next thing you wanna do. You're gonna wanna... No, wait, that's not right. Okay, hold on, guys. And now, okay, and now you just want to go ahead and take these. And then you just want to go ahead and merge them with these. And now, oh god, oh god, another metal rat, oh god. Please, 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 please. Okay, guys, uh, you, you just want to go ahead and place these 12, I guess. Go ahead and place these 12 here. And, uh, oh. But, 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 okay, quickly. Uh, we have to jump into this nether portal. After we get through the nether portal, basically, you just want to go ahead and bring out your gun. And you want to go ahead and do the following. And then after you kill every enderman in the end, basically, no wait, this is a nether, sorry. After you kill every enderman in the nether, basically, then you're going to be able to fight the dragon without anything going, wait, never mind, they're still, some of them are still alive. Uh, if some of their bodies are still twitching and they're still suffering, basically, you just want to go ahead and light all their bodies on fire. Basically, you just want to keep on going around in a circle here and basically, blah, hold on, let me get rid of this. We won't even ever need that. So like I've used it in the past 10 minutes. And BAM! Now that they're all... Now that they're all dead basically, we can now start.
the ritual. So basically, the next thing you need is... Now, in order to beat the game, apparently, you need beds, according to some people. So now we just want to go over here and dig in the ground. And bam, just like that, we are now, we, we've used just a little bit of dripstone. And now you want to go to the middle. And basically, you want to wait for the dragon breath. And we're going to transform into a sheep, guys. You have to transform into a sheep. So get your leather cap on and make sure you don't get take damage. That was a little close. And now that we got the leather cap, basically, we can start to fight. And I missed. I missed the fire. I. Would you look at that, guys? And now you just want to go in and go into the fire, and you will transform into a sheep. And just like that, we are now a sheep, and nothing else has happened. And as you can see, it, it, it's all automatic, and the. <laughs> and, and basically, uh, you just want to go ahead and. You just want to go ahead and just. As you can see, we are we are almost a bed, but we need wool. So let's just. Right, so I admit we need wood. We need wood to become a full bed. So basically, in order to get wood, we're gonna have to go over to the void. We're gonna have to go over to the void. We're going to have to go over to the void. And now we're going to want to have to drop down in it. And then basically, uh, you'll become an armor stand. And you're just going to become an armor stand here. And basically, you need to take the wood off your head and make it into planks, basically. And after you got all the burnt wool, basically, you just want to go over and place it. And then you just want to put your wool here. And, and magically, I now have some wood in my inventory. So you go ahead and put the wood here, and then you put the wool. Uh, wait. You, you, you put the wool. You. Wait, you, you take. Oh, wait. Okay, we do this and. What? What? You just have to. Uh, you. Okay, uh, you basically go ahead and craft some beds. You have. You have to craft it like this, and, no, okay, you know what, you have to craft the beds, make sure you have your cap on, so you won't, okay, guys, it's been 10 minutes, basically, and I'm still falling, but, oh, wait, okay, okay, well, okay, we're going to grab, luckily, our cap saved us, okay, so, basically, after you fall from there, you basically simply just take a bed out of your inventory, and, according to people online, you just have to place it down again, and just wait for the dragon to come over here. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm not, I'm not really sure if this works or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to sleep because I, I have a lot of damage basically, and I might die. But so I'm just gonna go ahead and just sleep in this bed here real quick, and because it's just, this is just too much. Like, look, look at my health. Look at my health. Look how much health I'm losing right now. I could die any second right now. Also, he's not. He's. She's not taking. <laughs> then you want to go ahead and bone meal your creepers, basically, to the to the maximum size, and basically. This is the only way to defeat them. Everyone was lying about the beds. I just tried it over and over, and it still didn't work. And okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, basically, you just want to go ahead and get your. You want to go ahead and get your wool, basically. The wool, basically, that you had earlier when you ever turned into a sheep, burnt it off. You want to type this in. Now you want to go ahead and build a square around this sign. You want to make sure it's a perfect square, otherwise the dragon is just going to go ahead and murder you. 
You don't want the dragon to murder you, and you also don't want to die in the explosion. So make sure it's a perfect square. Basically, anything inside of the square will be perfectly fine. And now you just want to throw in some blaze rods, basically, so you respawn, because you're going to die as soon as you do this. And basically, you want to go over here, and you want to go ahead and ignite the giant creeper in... <laughs> Now I have to kill this guy, I guess. So oh, now uh, you want to go ahead and jump over here. And you want to go ahead and go to this portal, okay, guys? Next, you want to build a very, very tall. Oh, wait. Try to. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not going to look for that in here. After you do that, you want to start to build upwards. Just a few blocks. After you do that, guys, you want to simply aim for the portal and make sure you jump into it. Don't well, don't forget though that your leather cap is now damaged and it would not protect you so you have to make this jump it's one of the hardest jumps in the game to make and then you beat the game guys there's all these there's always these all these speed winners and stuff basically trying to beat the game but none of that works I just debunked it not even the bed helped destroy the ender dragon so no matter how many people online are screaming at you showing you literal proof of the beds basically in discord it's not gonna work just don't trust them okay guys i'm going to leave now because my computer is basically almost dead from that creeper explosion i'm now going to go watch some uh Among Us challenge 3 a.m. and after I get done with that, then I'll be able to reveal. <laughs>